How about him, Cowboy? Angry Cowboy, stand on your town to What's going on, Cowboys Nation and angry Cowboys fans around the world? Y'all know who it is. It's your man, the angry Cowboys fan. And I got to talk to Cowboys Nation about the narrative circulating around the NFL landscape when it comes to our Dallas Cowboys. On today's episode of First Take, Stephen A. Smith, Bart Scott, and Cam Newton discuss the lack of dog when it comes to the Dallas Cowboys, specifically Dak Prescott and Mike McCarthy. So we're going to take a listen to the three clips that I got for y'all, and y'all know what we're going to do. We're going to come back and unpack this raw and uncut. So, angry Cowboys fans... Let's go ahead and take a listen to the first clip of Cam Newton. We need some dogs. Right. Yeah. On the offensive side of the ball, Mm -hmm. I've been extremely pleased with CeeDee Lamb this year. As far, I don't know what Troy Aikman's talking about. I don't know. I can't confirm. about the interception. I cannot confirm nor deny what he's speaking is factual. What I will tell you is this. Can somebody else take over a game other than CeeDee Lamb on the Dallas Cowboy offense? It's only but so much. You're talking about Justin Fields and, and, and Russell Wilson, that debacle. But at the same time, I'm saying when I look at the Dallas Cowboys, the only person that threatens me if I'm scheming them CD. up is CD. Mm-hmm. That's not an effective offense right there. Of course not. So I'm looking at a situation where the Detroit Lions mm-hmm. came and bully and thump and wet willy, then wedgie, then did all the things that they needed to do, antagonized. All the above. Option E. Ha! And ain't nobody mad? That's the thing. Nobody's mad at how we're getting mollywop, especially how we got mollywop by the Saints as well as the Lions. But Cam Newton is absolutely correct with the fact that we need some dogs on this team. Where we differ is where we need some dogs in every facet of this organization. We need dogs in the front office to be able to lace this team with dogs on the field. Talking with other Dallas Cowboy fans and content creators on X last night, I said the drop-off in talent when it comes to the depth chart is astronomical. Some is due to the fact that the depth chart at the defensive end is super injured as well, Cowboys Nation. So now the Dallas Cowboys have to rely on third-string talent as well as USFL talent. This is something that Dak Prescott or Mike McCarthy can't control. But jumping into the second clip that I got for you, Cam Newton expresses his want for Dak Prescott to take the gloves off and start to show the dog on and off the field. So let's take a listen to what Cam Newton has to say, and then we'll come back and talk about it. Roll a clip. I can say something real quick in regards sure. to just the approach of the quarterback, yeah. right? In, mm-hmm. in this league, you have to say the right thing. You're the CEO, mm-hmm. right? You report to upper management, executive leaders, the media, the locker room, uh, position coaches, head coaches, team captains, runts on the team, kickers, punters, linebackers. D- you report to everybody. Everybody's not going to like you. You have to understand that type of model. Yeah. Dak is a likable guy. Damn it. And I'm ready for him to just like, look, bro, the bag's secured. Now, let me go on and yeah. let, me, let me really tell y'all, mother, yeah. how I really feel. How about that? You see what I'm saying? How about that? It's, I feel like Jerry Jones has too much control over Dak in, in, in that respect. But, but is it? See, yeah. I got to stop you right there. Dak. I got to stop right there. Is it Jerry? Right. Or is it him? All right, Cowboys Nation, did you hear how that clip ended? Stephen A. asked if it was Jerry Jones or if it was Dak Prescott. As much as Stephen A. Smith wants to blame all the Dallas Cowboys woes on Dak Prescott, the issue with the Dallas Cowboys runs deeper than who we have at the quarterback position. I'll talk about that more during my Raw and Uncut portion. So make sure you stick around for that. Going into the third clip, Stephen A. Smith wants to dismiss Jerry Jones from taking any type of accountability for where the Dallas Cowboys currently sit today. You know, like he says, it's his Libra buddy, right? 
Instead of everyone from Jerry Jones all the way down to the long snapper in Trent C being able to take responsibility, it's only Dak Prescott who needs to do so. So let's take a listen so we can come back and unpack this raw and uncut. So, Cowboys Nation, let's take a listen to Stephen A. Smith. A lot of times, don't get me wrong, blame Jerry for a whole bunch of stuff. Right. But I'm not blaming Jerry for Dak's personality. Yeah. That's who you are. Right. You're a grown-ass man. You are who you are. I ain't blaming Jerry right. for you. Listen, you remember when uh, Jerry was critical and Jerry had, they hadn't reached a contract deal yet? Dak Prescott came out and said, sometimes you know. Sometimes, you know, it, right. you, it, that's the closest he ever been mm-hmm. to raising up. Oh, you raised up when it was time for your bag. Right. Mm. All right. But any other time, yeah. you quiet his mouth. Dak's personality? Raising up Stephen A. Smith? I mean, this is Stephen A. Smith we're talking about. Is Stephen A. Smith raising up against his bosses at Disney to get his contract done? Man, you know what? Y'all ready for my raw and uncut? Y'all ready? Let's get it. Stephen A., raising up against your boss is a little easier said than done, don't you think? Why does everyone think that the Dallas Cowboys front office is like any other front office in the NFL? It has been demonstrated time and time again that the Dallas Cowboys are ran a little bit differently than any other organization in the NFL, or let alone sports in general. What happens to one of the best coaches in the NFL when he spoke up, when he raised up against Jerry Jones? He got fired. On top of that, he was the owner's college roommate and he spared no expense at kicking his ass to the curb. What would stop Jerry Jones from firing the head coach and Mike McCarthy? It's a little harder to fire Dak Prescott after giving him a record-breaking bag, so I get where Stephen A. Smith's coming from from that perspective. But I truly feel that dogs can't be dogs when you have the dog catcher hovering over them day in and day out. When you have the dog catcher landing helicopters on the practice field during the team's practice. When you have the dog catcher flexing his rich muscles on radio personalities, why don't you think that he would flex those same type of muscles on the head coach or the quarterback? For anyone who thinks it's easy to stand up to your boss... I want you to go in Monday and stand up to your boss. I want you to tell your manager how things are going to go at your job. Let's see how far that gets you. But some people will not look past the obvious. They will get in people's comments and say that Dak Prescott sucks, or they'll make videos talking about how Dak Prescott sucks, but fails to realize that the issue has been going on way before Dak Prescott became the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. The same issues has been going on since Tony Romo was the signal caller in Dallas. Why is that, Cowboys Nation? During Tony Romo's tenure as the Dallas Cowboys quarterback, a lot of Cowboys Nation spoke the exact same way they speak about Dak Prescott. It hasn't been until recently where they finally give Tony Romo his flowers. There's still those casual fans who will refer to Romo as Tony Ono, glazing over the fact that there's one constant in both quarterbacks' tenures, the Dallas Cowboys front office. But you know... There are a few things that I wish would happen in Cowboys Nation. One is for Cowboys fans who dislike Dak Prescott to have the exact same energy for the owner of the team. Have that same energy for not acquiring top-notch players during the offseason and before the trade deadline. Have that same energy when your owner tells the media that the Dallas Cowboys have to do more with less. Have that same type of hatred in your heart because those same fans are going to be yelling at the quarterback and that the quarterback sucks when Dak Prescott is no longer here. Those same content creators will be bashing the next quarterback that comes through Dallas after Dak Prescott is gone. They will continue to have this cycle going because the three and four letter networks will place all the blame on the players before they place the blame on the person that put the players in the position to begin with. But we do need to have some dogs on this team, Cowboys Nation. Dogs who prioritize the team's success over their own individual success. All these podcasts and commercials, they need to be deaded until you earn them. The royal treatment needs to be debted until you earn the royal treatment. I've heard people say this before, but the star on the helmets, they need to be earned, Cowboys Nation. But as far as this segment, I truly feel that Dak Prescott should drop the nice guy persona and start running this offense as 
He wants to see it run. He is the one going out there trying to make something happen. And if it doesn't, he's the one who gets all the criticism. He's the one that people air their frustrations out on when the Dallas Cowboys come up short. If that's going to be the case, go out there and command this damn team, Dak Prescott. Go out there and tell Jerry Jones how things are going to be run on the offensive side of the ball. Jerry can't fire him because he would have to pay out all that guaranteed money to Dak Prescott while Dak Prescott's not on the team. But the way I look at it is that Jerry hasn't treated Dak Prescott like he did Tony Romo or Jason Witten or Ezekiel Elliott for that matter. Dak Prescott is not under Jerry Jones's wing. So just take command of this offense. If you don't like a play call that's being sent in by Mike McCarthy, change it. Dak has proven that he can call a pretty good game as an offensive coordinator during the preseason of last year. It's kind of like what Mike McCarthy did with Kellen Moore. If I'm going to get fired, I'm going to be the reason why I get fired. It's not going to be because someone gave me plays to run and they didn't work. The inside zone that Mike McCarthy sends into the game makes the offense look super stagnant, and it falls on Dak Prescott's shoulders. Not being able to come with a scheme that creates separation for our receivers is one of the reasons that causes Dak Prescott to have to throw tight window throws. As much as this game has to do with talent, it also has to do with coaching and scheme, Cowboys Nation. It also has to do with the quarterback's mentality. Remember when the Carolina Panthers went on that tear and ended up losing in the Super Bowl? That entire team embodied Cam Newton's drive. They embodied his charisma. They embodied his fight. And they ultimately embodied his body language during the Super Bowl. When they were winning during the regular season, you saw Cam Newton dabbing on his opponents. You also saw his teammates doing the exact same thing. That allowed Cam Newton to be able to lead his team and his men each and every week. I got a strong feeling that Dak Prescott isn't allowed to be that same type of leader. Mike McCarthy is not allowed to be that same type of coach that the Panthers had in Ron Rivera. Jerry Jones wants to be the reason why the Dallas Cowboys are succeeding, but doesn't want to take any type of accountability or responsibility for when the team is losing. So I'm going to end this video with a direct message to Dak Prescott as well as Mike McCarthy. Let's go ahead and start with Dak. Dak, I believe in you, bro. I believe in the talent that you have at the quarterback position. I believe you can weather any storm that comes your way. You've been through the fire on and off the field and stood strong through said fire. I need you to be able to bring that fight out. I need you to take control of this team and get it to where it needs to be. I need you to go into Jerry Jones' office and demand help. You already got the bag, Dak Prescott. You already got the bag, so you don't have to worry about Jerry Jones firing you because it would be the biggest mistake from a business standpoint that the Dallas Cowboys have ever done. Stop being the company man and start making your wants and desires known. And as far as Big Mike, from the looks of the first six games, this is going to be your last year as the Dallas Cowboys head coach. Stop giving a shit about Jerry Jones wanting to be the press box coach. Stop giving a shit if Jerry calls down to the practice field demanding that Zeke Elliott play because he's paying him a small ransom. Go with the game plan you have and don't allow the owner to tell you what play to run or what player to play. You can't tell me that that's not happening because if it wasn't happening, Rico Dowdle would have started the game against the Detroit Lions and not Zeke Elliott. Jerry Jones saw Zeke Elliott's frustration during that interview and the next thing you know, Zeke was the starting running back against the Detroit Lions. Your quarterback can't command his offense if his head coach can't command the 53 men on the roster. But I'll keep it a buck, Cowboys Nation. I don't believe that the players have checked out on Mike McCarthy. Hey, Mike McCarthy got the game ball. I believe that the players have checked out on Jerry Jones. This has been your man, the Angry Cowboys fan. What did you think about what Cam Newton and Stephen A. Smith had to say? What do you think about my take on this matter? Y'all know what we doing. Let's have a classy Cowboys conversation about it in the comments section. But if you're digging the content and want to help get it out to even more Dallas Cowboys fans, drop a like on this video and share it with anybody that you know is a Cowboys fan. If you are DC for life and see that our problems are bigger than who's at the quarterback position, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell to be notified whenever I go live, release a video, podcast episode, or Madden 25 and College Football 25 gameplay. 
I just don't understand how the biggest culprit escapes accountability when the players get all the smoke from the fans as well as the talking heads. They would not be on this team if it wasn't for the owner. So let's continue to put the pressure on Jerry Jones. Let's let him know that Cowboys Nation is fed up with the mediocrity that has been displaying. Let's continue to pump out that hashtag. Hashtag fire the GM, Jerry. This has been your man, the Angry Cowboys fan. And I'm out. Cowboys fan, you done made it through the entire video. But if you want more content, you can definitely go to this video right here. Or if you want the latest episode of the Angry Cowboys Fan Podcast, you can go right here. But whatever you do, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. But remain DC for life.